Amitan, and welcome to Wix Fixer. This is Velo 101, or Learn JavaScript with Wix Code. And today we're going to be creating our first toggle button. So let's get started. OK, so today we're going to be creating a toggle button and learning a bit about Booleans. And for this demonstration, I set up a button, which I called toggle button. And let me actually make that lowercase. And I also set up this text, which says off at the moment. And what we're going to do is we are going to toggle this text to say on or off whenever we click the toggle button. And this is a really common functionality that you'll want in a website to either display something or not display something when a button is clicked and then do the reverse action when the button is clicked again. So first thing we're going to want to do is set up an event listener for the button. Okay, and that's going to be toggle button uh, on click. And when we do this on click, we're going to want to do one of two things. We're either going to want to change this to on or off, depending on what the current status of that text is. So what we could do is we can create a condition. So I'm going to say if this uh, text box, which I called on off text, don't forget the on off text dot value equals off. Okay, if the value of, uh, sorry, not value, the text, if the text of on off text is equal to off, then what we're going to do is we are going to say that on off text dot text should be equal to on. Okay, and then we're going to add an else. And if you remember, else means that we are doing something that is uh, if the condition is not met. And if the condition is not met, then we are going to say on off text that text should be equal to off. Okay, so when the text is equal to off, it'll turn it to on. And when it's on, it'll turn it to off. Okay. And remember the difference here between these two equalities. So triple equality means actually equal to one another. And one equality means set this as. Okay, so let's preview. and toggle on off on off on off okay so that's how you create a very simple toggle button using uh, velo and i just want to give a side note here and teach you about a new data type which is boolean okay and basically every statement inside of a if uh, condition is basically testing for truthiness and we're checking to see if this is true or false. And that is the type of Boolean. So if I take this over here and I put it over here and I say console.log this statement, okay? So then if our text is actually equal to off, we were gonna, we were gonna get true here. And otherwise we're gonna get false. Okay, so let's try and preview this. And we'll toggle our button. Right, and you'll see right over here that we got true. And now if I toggle it again, we get false. Okay, so that's because when I toggled it, it said on, and then it was false. And then you'll see true, false, true, false, going to all the way down. Okay, so that is something that's called a Boolean. It's a certain data type in uh, JavaScript. And, you know, we can store uh, Boolean values inside a variable. So I could say, for example, here, instead of consoling this, I can say const um, is on or is off, let's say, is equal to this. Okay, so is off is going to be, whoops, I erased important part of the code here. Um, so is off is going to be uh, equal to off 
on off text that text equals off okay so this will either be equal to true or false and then i can take this over here and i can switch this out and write is off okay and if we test our code one more time then you will see that it is still working as we expected Right, so we have on, off, on, off, on, off. Okay, so that's a little bit about um, how to create a toggle button in Wix and what my Boolean value is, either true or false. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.